Hey guys, so today we're checking out the locking hood catches in black fitting all 2018 and newer JL Wranglers. So if you are in search of some small but noticeable mods that are also very functional for your JL, this option is going to be a great choice to take a look into. Now this is going to be great for anybody who is looking for a replacement for their factory hood latches, uh, whether that is for an appearance upgrade or the factory ones are not so functional anymore. Sometimes they do have the tendency to wear out because they are made of a plastic material and the ones on the JL are spring-loaded, uh, so sometimes they can lose their functionality over time. Now this choice is going to be a great upgrade for anybody who is looking for uh, not only something that's going to be durable and hold up for a long period of time, uh, but this is also going to be great for somebody who's looking for some extra security to their engine bay. Uh, now these are going to be made of a durable steel construction, so they will be able to hold up, especially if you take your JL out on the trail. They are gonna have more of an off-road appearance, and in my opinion, they're gonna look very sleek, especially with the black powder coat finish and the one-piece design that you see here. Uh, now, this is going to be two pieces functionally, uh, but I do like the fact that this gives a uh, one-piece appearance. Now, this will also come with two keys. Uh, both of these are going to be lockable, so whenever these are locked, you cannot get inside the engine bay, which is great considering that the factory ones don't really provide uh, that much security. You can really go in the engine bay of a Jeep at really any time. So having that extra security and peace of mind uh, is great, and this option is going to give you all of that. Now with that being said, these are gonna come in at roughly $150, and I personally think for that price point that these are definitely worth it. Now you can tell down to the construction that these are going to have a quality build. Uh, they do have a little bit of weight to them, so you can tell that they are going to hold up. Uh, and I personally really like the fact, again, that these have a very sleek look. Now, other options available on the page may be set up a little bit differently. Uh, they may have the appearance of a two-piece design with a turnbuckle for adjustability in the middle. This choice here will not have that much adjustability. Uh, you will be able to get away with uh, a little bit as far as the fitment is concerned. Um, however, this is going to be focused on mainly security. Not a lot of other options will have that locking feature. Uh, so again, if you're focused on security and you're looking for something that's solid and able to do that, then these are a great choice. Now when it comes to install, these are also going to be incredibly easy to install. I'm going to give this a very easy one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, taking you no longer than 10 minutes to get these both installed with some very basic hand tools. So speaking of the install, let's jump into that now. The tools that I used for my install were a 13 and 10 millimeter socket, a quarter inch drive ratchet, and a four millimeter Allen key. So to kick off this install, we want to start with the hood open, and then we can take off the top portion of our factory hood latch. Now for this, you're going to need a 10 millimeter socket. So as you can see, there are two studs. Both of these nuts have to be removed in order to take out the top portion of our hood latch. So I'm going to take that 10 millimeter socket and unthread those. So now we can move to the bottom part of our hood latch here. Now this is only going to consist of one bolt. Uh, we're going to use a 13 millimeter socket in order to unthread that nut that's on the stud. Now you're not going to have a lot of room here, so I do recommend a shallow socket. Once you get it loose, you can thread it off by hand. I can put this to the side. What we can do at this point is grab our new hood catch. We can also grab the gasket for the lower portion. This is just going to be the one with the large hole. And then we can line this up and take our provided hardware, which is the flat washer, lock washer, and nut, and we can thread that on.
Once that's threaded into place, we can tighten it up with a 13 millimeter socket. Then we can move to the top. What we can do at this point is take the top portion of our latch here. This is gonna go on the outside. You wanna make sure that the ridge up at the top, this little cutout, is going to be sitting at the top. Now we're gonna take our provided hardware, which is the two Allen head bolts, and we can put that through. Then we can grab our flat washer and nylon lock nut, and we can thread that into place. I have a four millimeter Allen key on the other side to help me thread that on, just to make sure that it doesn't get lost in the hood here. Once those are both in place, we can take that same four millimeter Allen that we used to thread them in with. We can also take a 10 millimeter socket that we used before and we can tighten that up. And we can repeat that process on the other side. So before I go ahead and install the other side, I did want to stop down and show you guys a little comparison between our factory hood catch or our hood latches here and these new ones, show you some of the similarities and the differences and why this is going to be a big upgrade for your JL, even though it is such a small product. Um, now starting off, our factory hood latch is made of a plastic material. Um, now this is going to hold up for a decent amount of time. However, this plastic does tend to fade and plastic also does tend to break. Not to mention you have this little latch on the inside and it is spring loaded. So sometimes that spring can wear out and over time um, it just won't function as it should. Um, now this is also going to have a larger portion for the top that this lashes into. As you guys are probably familiar, um, this is going to be okay. Um, however, this is also not gonna provide any security. So we're moving over to this option here. Um, as you can see, this is going to look a lot sleeker. This is made of a steel construction, so it is going to be durable um, and hold up on like the plastic choice wood. Um, now this is also gonna have a nice texture black powder coat finish, which will match with any other heavy duty accessories that you have on your Wrangler. It's a nice little touch, especially when you're looking for some off-road features, even if they are small like this one. Um, now this is also going to have a lock mechanism uh, which is great for security so our factory one did not this one will come with two keys and when it is locked you won't be able to pull up on the bottom here but when it's not all you have to do is pull up push down and unhook it so it kind of has the same hooking mechanism as our factory one however this is going to be a lot more efficient and of course provide you a lot more security so whenever you have to lock the hood back up all you have to do is push down hook just like the factory one, push it down into place, and you can lock it with the key. And then when it's locked, you can't pull up and get into the hood. So overall, I do think it's a very secure system and it looks very sleek while also being very functional. So what do you say we install the other side? So that is going to wrap it up for my review and install. Make sure you like and subscribe for more videos and products just like this. And always keep it right here at extremetrain.com.